Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Longhorns are ranked number one in the nation. But there's a big difference in being ranked number one now and being ranked number one early in the season. Early in the season, you have a little bit of a stumble. You figure everybody else is too, and you've got a chance to get back in the fight. Too late for that now. No margin for error. No room for missteps if you want to finish on top. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We're in Stillwater, Oklahoma, in the newly renovated Boone Pickens Stadium for today's ball game. All right, so we're here on the road at Boone Pickens Stadium. Oklahoma State gave us a run for our money last season. Um, and I expect them to do the same thing here. They're five and three, but I feel like that ranking can be a little deceiving. We are gonna do what we did against Iowa State, I think, and try to establish the run game early. But like I said, get our offense a little bit more involved with our weapons. Holy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try something out. I like the matchup. Winnington, give me that. Yes, sir. All right, let's see what we got. First and 10 after that monster pickup. What do we got going on here? Josh. Ooh. There's no way none. There's no way. There's no way. That's a touchdown. That's a go-ahead touchdown. He doesn't pick it up. Pitch man. Ooh, K-Rob. When I tell you I love these games where the defense is just, like, forcing us to get a little bit more creative. I love it. Bring it down, Jordan. Of course he is. That's that guy. That's what he does. Mr. Reliable. Give me that. We got to score. We got to score, K-Rob. Four yards, okay? I really don't want to go for it. If we don't score, I'm going to take the three points. So I really want to score here. Let's do a fade route. Jordan, let's do a fade route. I'm just going to toss it up to you. Come down. Oof. Too far. So both teams settle for a field goal in their first possession. We've got the ball back. A minute and 28 seconds left in the first quarter. What I don't want this game to turn into is a dogfight. Like, we don't need to be coming into, like, just so many close games towards the end of the season. We should have our identity by now. This is our ninth game of the year. We know who our weapons are. We know what our weapons are. We don't have to worry about that. We just got to get the ball in their hands. They read that. They're feeling it. I still think Joshua Moore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's him in the safety. Just you in the safety, Josh. Just you in the safety, Josh. But he overthrew him. Josh couldn't get there. So unable to make anything shake, we ended up punting the ball back to OK State. OK State can't make anything shake on their end, so they give us the ball back. Three seconds left in the first quarter. Uh-huh. Give me that. Let's run hurry up. Let's run hurry up. I like the defense they're in right now. I love it, actually. I think I'm going to stare down Xavier this entire route, but let's just see. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Marcus. Oh, I wanted you to spin the opposite way, but that's okay. They're still doing hurry up. Yes, we are. We can get 10 yards in. Josh is just coming. No, this is going to Xavier. This is definitely going to Xavier. Oh, cornerback broke on that one. I got to give him credit. I got to give number four some credit. Watch out. Don't play with him. What's that? What's that right there? So we end up putting seven points on the board. Oklahoma State can't do anything about it. They don't put any points on their end. So we just, like I love to say, create some separation. There you go, Jordan. Good way to take the hit. Hold on to that ball. Uh-oh. 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 It's a little shaky, Josh. It's a little shaky, Josh. Oh, number four. Yo, number four is a baller. Wherever we, wherever we pick, can we get him to transfer over? I like him. 
There you go, Jordan. Set the tone, set the tone. We're not giving them the ball back, so let's pick up this first. Regardless, I'm not giving this team the ball back. This is not going to be a close game. There you go, Jordan. They leaving you open? They leaving you open? What is the defense doing? He's literally him. I see it. I saw it. I saw it. They weren't there. I saw it. They didn't see it. So we in the end zone. That's all it takes. Come on now. 17-3. and three. It looks like their offense is just completely stagnant at this point. Now we flex our muscles a little bit. We flex our muscles. We do what good teams do, which is dominate. And let our boys celebrate afterwards. Ooh, that could be a pick. But he's not good enough. That's the thing. He's just not good enough. He's just not that guy. Jordan Winnington is, and he's just not. So... That's end zone. That's end zone. Not getting touched on that one. Third and four. Xavier. Josh, what are we doing? Josh. Touchdown. Fourth and two. Cut back in. Jordan. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't. Oh. Let me get an animation where he sticks his arm out. If he sticks his arm out at all, we score on that. Just about do it. Just play right here. Yep, that's going to seal the deal. So Hudson Card had 392 yards, right? He had 392 total yards. The rest of the team had 56. But look at how many yards uh, Jordan Winnington put up. Because that's my player of the game. Like, I get Hudson Card was responsible for three total touchdowns. But take a look at this. Take a look. So like I was saying, yes, Hudson Card was 18 for 27. 66% uh, completion rating, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, 355 yards. That's cool. But look at this performance. Jordan Whittington, nine receptions, 229 yards, averaging 25 yards per catch. His longest catch was 52 yards, and he had 48 yards after the catch. Like, let's just be honest here. Like, this is a carry. Xavier Worthy, star. Uh, Joshua Moore, star. They both have a touchdown. Jordan Winston has no touchdowns on the day, which is probably the only reason why he didn't get the player of the game. But come on, 229 yards from one receiver. A junior at that. Come on, man. Crystal City, Texas, be proud. Jordan Winnington is a star. So something interesting happened. After our dominant performance in Austin, or I'm sorry, after our dominant performance in Stillwater against Oklahoma State, somehow we got bumped down to number two in the nation. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know who was. North Carolina was number two. That's what I, last time I checked, that's what it was, right? Let's go take a look at who the new number one is. The Tar Heels. Okay, so this makes sense. So North Carolina beats number six Miami, and their RPI, or their strength of schedule, basically, is a lot stronger than ours at this point. A lot of the teams that we're playing right now either are no longer ranked or were never ranked during the season. So if you take a look at our schedule, we play number seven OU and then number 18 Iowa State, and then we have no other ranked opponents. So we get bumped down to number two just based off of strength of schedule alone. If you take a look at North Carolina, the road they had to get here, they played uh, Georgia Tech at 21 and then Miami at six. So the, they played a, a higher ranked team than us recently. So the committee is favoring that. Miami was 10 and or Miami was yeah 10 and 0 prior to playing that game against North Carolina. I did say one of those teams are going to have to lose. Unfortunately for us, it was the number two team, so now they're number one. Rounding out their schedule though, they're playing two unranked teams, and so are we in BYU, uh, Texas Tech, and Baylor. I don't know. I think ACC championship maybe they get knocked out by Clemson, but then Clemson would take the number one spot because we don't have a championship game. It's tough. Um, I really, really hoped we could walk into the game finally at number one, the big game. Let's see what the BCS rankings has, of, has us at. Yep, number two as well. So we dropped in both polls and everything, right? Yeah, we dropped everything. 
there's really nothing we can do. It's our schedule. It's our conference. Like, we can only win the games we're playing. And unfortunately for us, due to strength of schedule, North Carolina is just, they just played number six Miami, and we played unranked Oklahoma State. So, looks like we're going to get into the, we should be able to get into the natty. We might get robbed if Clemson, North Carolina, and Alabama, two of those three teams stay undefeated. We might get robbed. We might. But I guess we'll have to just see. Let me go check one other thing. Let's check the Heisman watch. Let's make sure nothing crazy is happening there. Hudson Card is still number one. So the Heisman watch is basically the same with DJ joining the spot at five. And then Michael Penix, Cameron Harris, Jerry and Ely. So Hudson Card is still leading that list. We should be okay on that end. Um, he's only at 81 overall. Just imagine if we were playing with one of these guys at 96 overall, 97, like the attributes. Imagine what we could be doing right now. But... Hey, we got our own team to coach next year, more than likely. So we'll just focus on that. But right now, let's get through this season. I appreciate you boys for watching. I appreciate you boys for giving me your time. The next one is probably going to be cranked out super quick within the next day, maybe the same day. Um, so I'll see you guys then. Peace.